There are many times in life we see something we want, but we might have to settle for less because of financial reasons. Now, when it comes to retirement, or if you're near retirement, that's the last thing you want to do. So what can you do to avoid that altogether? Today, we have two special guests. That's Patrick and Kevin Hart, and they are with Concierge Capital Management. Welcome back to River City Live. And Thank I'll tell you, you, this is something that's like heartbreaking. People save their entire lives, right? And then all of a sudden they get in retirement yep. and they can't afford to do the things they want to do. Is this something that you guys see? Uh, absolutely. This yeah. is a very real fear for many out there. No matter how much you saved, they have not planned for life after work. Most people just focus on working hard, saving as much as they can, but they don't have a plan in place to better grow, protect, or even distribute their savings successfully. And Kevin, let me ask you this, because you've been in the field for decades now. What do you think is some of the reasons for that? They just didn't plan ahead far enough? Is that something you might say? Yeah, the answer might be uh, in that, by the way, it happens frequently. Sure. It happens frequently. And I believe the cause or the explanation to it is, is people just don't think about retirement spending patterns. We spend our whole lives working and saving and preparing for retirement, dreaming of retirement, but we never really think through spending patterns, okay? And as financial advisors, we think about retirement in three separate phases, oversimplified, but there is the first phase, first retire, we call it the go-go years. That's when you go. Sounds fun. It's, it's definitely fun. We've been looking forward to this. Sure. The things we've been putting off. We go travel a lot. We go see the grandkids a lot. We go out to dinner a lot. We buy expensive wine, things like that. And then over time, as we age, we kind of start to shift into the slow go mode. And the slow go mode maybe is best explained as rather than me traveling to go see everybody all the time, maybe it's once or twice a year, maybe a family reunion kind of trip little less into restaurants and things like that. And as we continue to go through that phase and get a little bit older, uh, we move into the no-go phase. And in the no-go phase, we're not traveling anymore. <laughs> we're exhausted, right? It could be just circumstances, whatever. But we've decided we want the grandkids to come see us. Yeah. And we'll wait for them. But we're not going anywhere. And, you know, so to the extent that Retirement spending patterns peak in the early phases, and over time, they wane. So with that being said, Patrick, I would imagine there's a strategy for each one of these type of phases, right? Well, you know, absolutely, but it's not like you need three different plans for each stage. I mean, that is the biggest mistake that someone can make right now. What you really need is just a sound plan that can anticipate and adapt to these changes. I mean, the old set it and forget it model for financial plans don't work for this exact reason. Each stage has a specific need that needs to be addressed and making sure your portfolio can handle those needs is absolutely crucial. So let's talk about that. Then what's the approach then to people out there right now, right? So they're either retired or they're close to retirement and they know these obstacles are in their right, way. So right. what does that look like? We talk about strategy, we talk about planning. We also know that it's different for each person out there, each family, it will look different. So what do they do? Like would they contact you and then you help them out with like a blueprint? Yeah, well to start, you're exactly right. Each person is completely independent and unique, so their specific needs might not be the same as your specific needs. But generally speaking, what changes through people's retirement is their health. So at 65, when you just retire, you're healthy, you're energetic, so eating out several times a week, going on five vacations a year, playing- Go-go Go-go stage. Go-go yeah, yeah, stage. Learned something here, yeah. right? <laughs> That's all entirely possible. But once you turn 85, traveling's gonna become a burden, it's too hot to play golf all the time, and eating out is going to become a headache. At the same time, you got health care costs when you first retire is going to be minimal. But by the time you're 85, prescription drug costs, doctor's visits will have increased dramatically yeah. as a percentage of your spending. So your spending pattern changes with your health. And so what we aim to do is design a distribution plan that accounts for these changes in different stages of your retirement because it's not... $2 a month for 30 years, it's more like $3 at first, then $2 later, and then $1 at the end. You know, it's interesting, that sounds very unique because a lot of times you hear about different retirement plans, but you never hear about health. And you're right, because right. as you age, it just, it's almost like a law, you know, it happens. 
healthcare expenditures get higher. Yes. It's just, it is what it is. Maybe it's medication, whatever it might be, you need more assistance around the home. So that's pretty interesting because you're planning for that phase of it. And again, there's a lot of steps and it can be complicated to the average person, but when there's experts there, you could lay that out. And you have a special promotion right now for the first five callers that call in. And listen to this, because this is one of those things that's important. It's important to get that plan and be proactive with retirement. Can you explain what this is then? Yeah, so what Kevin and I are aiming to do for any of your viewers today is really sit down with them, discuss their goals, see where they are currently, and then map out a comprehensive plan to get them to where they wanna go. And we'll do it completely complimentary. That is great. And there's the number right there, 904-204-1970. And if I learned one thing, it's not all about the go-go stage when it comes to retirement. <laughs> you got to plan beyond that, yeah, right? right? That's right. Well, thank you guys so much for all your time and information. We appreciate it. It thank was you, a Mark. pleasure. Thank you.